through that last pull and the pull before blew the ECU fuse, so they're gonna have to look through some of the wiring, uh, specifically what they're gonna look first as at the uh, RK8000, the switch panel stuff, and then they're looking through all the wiring. So Justin's up front looking, Paul's looking in the actual chassis and see what they can figure out. So this is the second time in a row that's blown the ECU fuse. The last 980 pull blew in the middle of the pull, and then this last one did the same thing. So we didn't get any data from the last one on the dyno. We're gonna get this thing all fixed up there but they're gonna go ahead and take a double glance over once they figure out the problem we'll get going again um, probably honestly a lot of this there is to keep pushing it rob's done like a million of these exact same setups so uh, he has a pretty good map to get all going but they just double check make sure everything's good for the race on sunday get that thing all taken care of and then go from there you know, probably look like they're in check before. Manuel's finished up the hood exit on the black all-wheel drive. What's up? You ready or what? Oh, I'm ready. Oh shit. He's gonna put some rivets in there. We got the that hood little CNC cut action there. Had dirty machine cut that out for us. So he's gonna get the thing on here. If you guys remember last time, car made a little under 1,000 horsepower, 998 horsepower on the dyno. So get that going. And then uh yeah, bam. Bam. Damn, talking shit already. Damn. Damn. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Let's see how it is. But we're going to get this thing all squared away, guys. And then uh, hopefully make some pass on it this weekend and see what she can do. Get it all dialed in, do some test hits. And then uh, start turning it up. Needs more injector. More injectors, more boost. We'll see what she can do with more power. But not bad. And then next, got to do the scoop. The scoop? Uh-oh. For, for some ram air? Yeah. It's pretty important on this setup. Mm -hmm. Whoa, he's not, no balls. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> there it goes. ECU problems already. <laughs> I don't know. Five first. Rip. Look at the off? fucking. No. Oh, what? What? You can't. I don't think it'll do a third gear brown no water. Oh. <laughs> Launch this bitch in third gear. Alright, we do. Watch out, he breaks an axle and comes this way. There she goes.
Hunter driver right here. I'm ready. He's ready. Uh oh. He said he's gonna go 920. Well, that's why he got the nitro. All right, you guys. That's where we're gonna end Justin's car for today. Car made probably honestly well over a thousand horsepower. We had problems with the dyno uh, not reading, but we're just gonna leave it there. Air fuel, everything's on point, like Rob said. Um, the only thing we're gonna have to deal with right now is that the car has a wiring issue of some sort of keeps shutting off at higher RPM. Follow looked at it, so it looks like two wires are touching. So what you can do is you can take it out, take a look at it tomorrow, go through the car, make sure everything's good, make some pass. I think we might be making some pass with this thing tomorrow, but we'll see. Um, but we'll go from there. But yeah, so really cool to see this car. Justin's an old time friend um, coming back here from Indiana. So it was really cool that he came here for the weekend just on a whim. Um, we got Rob flew in from Florida as well, Gringo Tune. And then, uh, yeah, we got tons of cars coming out here at the IFO. So we're learning a lot about here, guys. I thought I'd show you guys something different. I know you guys like the, the last one, the white sport front wheel drive car. And then this is a purple sport front wheel drive car. Um, the difference between this one and the white one is this car actually has a 6785. The white one has a 7285. This is actually a smaller turbo, but it does run the same class. Um, it's a lot, a little bit less weight um, just because it's a smaller turbo. That being said, they make literally about the same power. I think Rob in his car in the fuel injector clinic, he came went. Uh, like an 8.2 at like 185, 190 something miles an hour, way up there. And then this is actually the turbo fat car. Justin, me, Justin, and Rob were good friends together. So we got this car out here just to get dialed in so we can come race this weekend. But uh, we're gonna go and get this thing on the track. Hopefully, take some footage of it at the track. If you guys like this, let me know in the comments. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next one.